These are uh, to put in the toilet to catch the stool. When Murray Harrison received a colon cancer home screening kit in the mail, the first thing that came to his mind? I thought it was kind of disgusting. Harrison received the kit on his 50th birthday. The now 53-year-old says he was in great shape and says his wife, who's a nurse, would be upset if he didn't take the test. I was healthy. I felt great. I barely went to a doctor, so, so I thought I didn't need to do it. The test led to a diagnosis of colon cancer. Three years later, following surgery, chemo, and radiation, he's cancer-free. He even sent letters to his friends encouraging them to use the kit. I uh, actually had two friends that did throw it in the garbage mm -hmm. when they got it. And uh, they went back to the hospital and when they found out I had cancer, they went back and they got the test. Screening is something that you should do before you have symptoms, when you actually feel well that you actually need to go for that treatment. Dr. Donna Turner with Cancer Care Manitoba says the number of people diagnosed with cancer has increased over the last two decades, largely due to an aging population. Despite the fact that now our numbers of cancers are rising, we also know our survival rates are increasing. And when we think about things like breast cancer, for example, we are now looking at almost 90% of women surviving for over five years, which is a substantial improvement over the, what had happened, say, 30 or 40 years ago. Leslie Baldry, a recruitment and health promotion specialist with Cervix Check Manitoba, says screening tests, whether it's for cervix, breast, or colon cancer, save lives. Uh, it can actually prevent the cancer from starting because we can find abnormal cells that are caused by HPV, and we can treat those cells so that the cancer actually never develops. As for Murray Harrison, his advice about home testing is simple. Don't throw it in the garbage because it saved my life.